All of us agree that the gravest domestic threat facing our nation today is drugs. Who's responsible? Let me tell you straight out. Everyone who uses drugs, everyone who sells drugs, and everyone who looks the other way. This, this is crack cocaine. This stuff is poison. Our strategy allocates more than a quarter of a billion dollars for next year in military and law for enforcement assistance for the three Andean nations of Colombia, Bolivia, and Peru. This will be the first part of a five-year, $2 billion program to counter the producers, the traffickers, and the smugglers. We need more prisons, more jails, more courts, more prosecutors. So tonight I'm requesting altogether an almost billion and a half dollar increase in drug-related federal spending on law enforcement. I'm proposing a quarter of a billion dollar increase in federal funds for school and community prevention programs that help young people and adults reject enticements to try drugs. I'm proposing an increase of $321 million in federal spending on drug treatment. And that's why I'm targeting $50 million to fight crime in public housing projects, to help restore order, and to kick out the dealers for good. I'm also asking the Senate to ratify the United Nations Anti-Drug Convention concluded last December. To stop those drugs on the way to America, I propose that we spend more than a billion and a half dollars on interdiction. Such an approach will not come cheaply. And now, over the past six months of careful study, we have found an immediate need for another billion and a half dollars. With this added 2.2 billion, our 1990 drug budget totals almost eight billion dollars, the largest increase in history. I know some will still say that we're not spending enough money. But those who judge our strategy only by its price tag simply don't understand the problem. 